Yo guys, I'm here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Remote Play. Remote Play is a feature that's on PlayStation where you can like control your PlayStation, use it, play games or anything from your laptop, phone, tablet, anything. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a Windows PC. It should work on all versions of Windows. So, yeah. You go to the link into the description. You download the two files that are there. Then, just just download the folder. Then you go into the PlayStation 3 Remote Play. Then you get all of this. So, what you're gonna have to download is you're gonna have to run the Remote Play setup. So it's gonna be extracting. Then you might get this. Then it's gonna be doing it, installing everything, blah blah blah. It might take long as well. You just have to give it some time and I'll be back once it's complete. So guys, it's done now. So yeah, you just click finish. Then you go into this patch 1.1. So you highlight it all and you click on copy. Then you go in the uh, follow where I am. You go into this PC, my computer, whatever. Windows 10. For Windows for Win so 64 bit users, you go on this. But if you don't have this, then you just want that more. So I'm going to go on this. Then you have to go down and look for Sony. Then you click Remote Player PlayStation 3. Then paste it. Make sure it doesn't go into any folder. And then you click Continue. So there you go, it's copied. Now, you go back. I've done this for you. So you just right click, or you just copy it, and then paste it here. Now you run it. So now, you have to go through the whole setup thing. So you have to call your computer what you want. So yeah, now we're going to go on to the PlayStation system. We're going to go on the PlayStation system and I'll show you what to do next. Now when you're on the PlayStation, what you're going to have to do is you have to go into settings. Go all the way down to remote play settings. You click register the device. Then you click on PC. It will show you this code. So you have to write it down or something then enter it on your PC. Okay, I'm going to enter it. Get this, so you're going to have to close it. Open it again. You're going to have to start the whole progress again. Enter the same number. I'll be back once I've done it. It might crash again, but you're going to have to, like, you know, sometimes you're going to have to restart your computer. So, guys, yeah, try it again. And yeah, now it's done. Now you click connect. Wait, before you click connect, there's something you need to do. And I'll tell you this. So guys, now it says re the register is complete. You click OK. Now you have to go into network and you click on remote play. Click on remote play. So I'll tell you all of this, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, now I'm going to think going to go back on my computer so yeah now I've turned it on on the PlayStation now we can connect connect you have to be in the same network or else it will not work so yeah there you go guys I've connected to my PlayStation system it brings the sound and all so yeah approve it that's my user it will freeze as well sometimes but yeah so if you don't know which keys to press it's always on this side, so it's actually a useful tool. So whenever you're downstairs and you're upstairs and you're too lazy, you can't just go up the stairs. You can just, you know. So yeah, it's actually useful. Some games might not work. Like for example, I got Little Big Planet demo. Let's go, let's try that. So then you got this content cannot be used during remote play. Some things might not work. 
put a circle that's it so then sometimes you can destroy youtube for example nope not the can be so yeah it's like there's some restrictions does the playstation still work that works nope it doesn't so guys yep yeah, that's how you do remote play on the playstation 3 in a computer now guys, if this worked for you, please give it a thumb, give the, give the video a thumb, please like and subscribe.